Uh, well, I just wanted to reflect on um, how I feel this morning and my thoughts about uh, trying this uh, starvation or hunger or wild edible, whatever kind of challenge you want to call it now. Um, uh, forcing yourself not to eat, like uh, when you have food so available to you, it, it's hard. Um, you have the smell of it around you all day long and like you not to, um, like your body w gives you signs that you're hungry and it tells you you have to eat. And with all the food around me, I have to say, no, I can't eat. I'm the, on this challenge. It's, it's very hard uh, where I have a choice to eat or not to eat. Like I can very easily say, okay, I'm going to start eating. But uh, that kind of defeats the, the purpose of the, the, this experiment. But um, in a survival situation, you don't have that choice. The choice is made for you. You have to find uh, alternatives uh, to eat. If you're hungry and you, you you have to go out and you have to start eating the wild vegetation. Uh, your lawn as a garden, your uh, lawn as your salad buffet. You know, um, it, it's it, it's hard in this situation. It takes a lot of mental strength to sit there and say, okay, I'm not gonna do this. And uh, in some ways it's harder in this situation where you have a choice whether to eat or not to eat. Where in a survival situation that choice is already made up for you. You don't have a choice. Yeah, you either find food or you starve. Uh, you, uh, or if there is no food available, then you just go hungry. Um, uh, and it makes, makes me think about like people in um, like third world countries and stuff, like what they must be going through. And not having ready food available, not being able to go to the grocery store and pick up something fresh. It's uh, the refugees that are um, migrating across Europe right now. It's, you know, um, just, you know, like makes you think. And like, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit emotional here and uh, makes me think. And, uh, you know, uh, gotta, gotta appreciate for what we have and uh, the, the climate that we live in and uh, the amount of uh, food that we're able to grow on our own, which we don't, we access at a a uh, grocery store. Uh, we don't buy local anything anymore. Uh, most of our produce comes from cross country in California. Uh, I don't want this to turn this into a whole diatribe on buying local or sourcing your uh, food local, uh, which I do anyways, but uh, it just makes you think. And even if you did this for like uh, two days, um, it's an eye opener. And uh, it's uh, this is my second time and it was harder this time than it was last time. I don't know if it was time of year or if it was just, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Um, maybe it's the fact that I was just coming off a diet and I was used to uh, weaning myself off of food, like uh, uh, all my portions anyways. And uh, so that's just my thoughts for this morning, um, my morning ramblings. Uh, so anyways, we're going to continue on with the day. We'll see how things go. Uh, my energy's back up again. I had a few berries. And uh, it, it, it's, I think just the whole act of having something to eat not only boosts your morale, but that one little morsel and like that one little taste like uh, boosts, boosts your uh, mood. And uh, I think that also, like when your mood gets boosted, your energy comes up. And uh, again, that's probably a psychological thing. But uh, in a survival situation, if you can get any kind of food in you, like whether it tastes bad or good, um, I, I think it, once you have something and that fa fact that you're eating again, I think that would uh, bring you up and uh, give you energy. So just my thoughts for this morning. I'll check back in with you later. Um, we'll see you later, okay?